Hey guys, Nukem Dukem here and welcome to Nobunaga's Ambition Taishi. If you guys like rich history games that has strategy behind it, then you're going to love this game. So special thanks to developer for sponsoring me on this. So this takes during the period of Japanese history with rival officers fighting each other to control land and how you can be the ultimate shogun. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start. So here you can see the different dates that we have here, the night raid, the battles. So it depends on which type of history you guys are want to go to and you can see the early stages so a lot of times in history we don't actually learn about this and we get to enjoy it while playing games so wow there's so much customizations here so this game is on the pc and ps4 i'll put a link in the description below for you guys to check it out oh my gosh so you can see what rank these guys are and which one you want to dominate so if you do know your history and you have a particular love for uh, certain uh, faction then you can also pick them so I'm just gonna go with ooh. though their rank is not the highest I still think I like to see the samurai alright let's go ahead and go the clan longevity flexible dip, uh, diplomacy, uh, diplomacy sorry I can't even speak right now and conflict avoidance to lose a battle is to lose one clan. One must go fight, one cannot I will not win. Die before I fulfill my resolve. Okay, perfect. So here's a little how-to guide so you guys can get in, in uh, into the story and understand how to be the ultimate shogun for your clan. Okay. As you can see, the different embassies. Okay, we'll stick to ours. All right, protecting and preserving, nice. The goal of the game is to gain control over half or make them your uh, vassals of diplomacy. That you need to strengthen your army, okay. So you can actually uh, set how fast you want to go. I put it on fast so if you guys can pause it, you want to read it, kind of speed through it, or you can put a medium. But basically it gives you an overall of the game. So what's unique about this game is uh, the game has so much depth. Players can experience a refined battle gameplay uh, of it, and then castle siege and naval battles. Oh my gosh, that's in that's insane! I'm interested in that. And you can actually develop your characters, and actually, if you want to kind of play the game how you want to, you want to dominate by force, or just slowly control over influence that you guys have. So here we have the commerce. So let's go. They have agricultural trade and develop then your military your diplomacy your infrastructure your personnel and your i can't even say this daimyo daimyo sorry i'm not japanese okay very good so once you guys understand the game we can just go straight into it let's go ahead so let's start the trade understood and we'll invest no, we don't need to see tutorial agriculture and resolve. Okay. Very good. Okay, we see the castles. Then we can do military view. How we are on our military. The view mode list. The report list. And then if you guys ever get lost, you have that right there to kind of guide you through it. Hmm. Okay, it looks like that clan's doing well. So let's go ahead and go to ours. Okay, so our farmers are refugees. Population. Nice. Alright. So as the game progresses, it takes stages. So this one wants to go, come as messenger goodwill and deepen our bond. So let's go ahead and strengthen our relationship before we start attacking a different clan. So yes, I'm grateful for your words and look forward to continue business. Allow me to report. Okay. Would you like to receive tutorial dispatches and balance reports? Sure. First dispatches from last month. Okay. So those are important things like right here. Very good. Let's this go ahead and confirm it. Results. 
gold, provisions, horses, and muskets. So we gained some gold. We didn't gain all the other stuff yet, but that is a little. Uh, see how we're doing. So let's go ahead and begin the council. Okay, let's talk. Okay. So you get to see a council here. Listen to retainers. Okay, every three months. So it's like a. I don't want to say quarterly. What's the thing? One third. One one third every month, not a quarter. But you get to talk about stuff and see how you get to do and which clan you want to take. So the game has a lot of strategy involved. Okay, picking ideas. When you select officers here, your policy power with an eye of policy which to enact in. Okay. So you can see what they can do for you. This guy gets more military power. Ooh. Alright, this guy looks good. Okay, and then our last one. Plus three, no talk. Hmm. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's go and ahead and that, adopt those three. Council is over. Very nice. Okay, and you'll be able to use your policy when you enact policy. Power. Okay, 15 squad. Let's go for max farmland. Do we want to go farmland or go... We probably want to keep, keep our army strong. Yes. Increase our military. Speedy March. Looks like we can only go Speedy March. There we go. That should send us a little bit quicker. I can't do that quite yet. So it looks like we all also get to expand our farmland here. Very nice. Okay. Well, looks like we can go ahead and select him. That's the only one we can. No worries. Good job. All right, let's actually, we can uh, slow down the read speed here. It's a little bit fast to keep up for me. Very nice. So it's our turn right here. We could end it if we want to go faster. Okay, let's go ahead and go military view. 1200 Go ahead Hmm This one's pretty weak right here Defenders condition up Not too much Choke commands Declare war This, hmm. wow, he has a lot of alliances. Actually, a lot of these have alliances, but this one's kind of by himself. I'm not. Yeah, a lot of them have plants. It's an allied clan. Yes. I'll crush you with this strength. Okay, now we do have an aggression towards them. 1600. Strategy phase. Trade, military. March. Okay. So let's go and march and take out his weaker ones. Marching. Here we go. Then we can construct our infrastructure. It's a country you'd like to build a castle in. Mm, no, we'll do that later. We could delegate. Let's just go ahead and proceed. Okay, come on. Let's take them out. Let's do it. Wreck their faces.
Okay. We should have overwhelming force against them. It can't be helped. We'll wait here. Okay, 2,000 versus their 800. Okay, looks like we can't get there quite yet. Since there is a barrier between us, it makes it harder. Oh no. Looks like other other places are going against us as well. But anyways, that's a little brief glimpse of this of this game. You can see that this game has a lot of Japanese history, and there's many different ways to play it. There's so much strategies. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, check uh, I'll put a link below. Thank you again for developer for sponsoring this. Uh, it's a lot very interesting, and you have to think of how you want to be as a player and conquer Japan.